Hello everyone. You are welcome back to this revision session. Now we are answering question 4 of June 2021 session. GC Advanced Level Pure Mathematics Paper 2. The first part of the question reads, the real value function f is defined as f such that x is mapped onto 4x divided by x minus 1, x being a real number different from 1. A. Show that f is an injective function. B. Find f of f of x stating its domain. We know that an injective function is a function that maps distinct elements of its domain to distinct elements of its codomain. And mathematically, we say if A and B are elements of the domain of a given function, say f, such that A is different from B, then f of A must be different from f of B. So we are saying that if you pick two distinct elements from the domain of definition of a function, say f, then their images must also be different. And so, to prove that a function is injective, we need to use the contrapositive of this statement, which states that if A and B are two elements from the domain of definition of F, such that F of A is equal to F of B, then A must be equal to B. So in this question, f of x is given by 4x divided by x minus 1. To show that f is injective, we let a and b be two elements from the domain of definition of f such that f of a is equal to f of b. And we know that if f of a is equal to f of b, then, we know the image of A is given by 4A divided by A minus 1, and the image of B is given by 4B divided by B minus 1. And so, if you multiply both sides by the LCM, or if you cross multiply, we are going to obtain 4A into B minus 1, which is equal to 4B into A minus 1. If you expand this, we are going to obtain 4AB, minus 4a, which is equal to 4ab minus 4b. So we can see that 4ab is common on both sides. And so if you subtract 4ab from both sides, we are going to obtain negative 4a, which is equal to negative 4b. And if you divide both sides by negative 4, we are going to obtain a to be equal to b. So we are saying that whenever we pick two elements from the domain of definition of this function, whose images are the same, then it means that those elements must be the same. Therefore, we are saying that f is an injective function, or f is injective. We also need to find this composite function stating its domain. That is f composed with f. We know that f of x is equal to 4x divided by x minus 1. And therefore, f of f of x is exactly the same as f of f of x. So here, we need to substitute x in this function with f of x. That is, f of f of x is the same as 4 times f of x divided by f of x minus 1 which is the same as 4 into 4x divided by x minus 1 divided by 4x on x minus 1 minus 1. And if you multiply the numerator and the denominator by x minus 1, we are going to obtain 16x divided by 4x minus x minus 1, which is the same as 16x divided by 3x plus 1. And the domain of this function is a set of real numbers except for the value of x for which 3x plus 1 is 0. And we know that if 3x plus 1 is 0, 
then x will be equal to negative one third. And therefore, the domain of this f of f is simply the set of real numbers excluding negative one third. The second part of this question is on logic. And it reads, two statements P and Q are given by, P is the statement, the principal goes to the ministry, and Q is the statement, the principal will meet the minister. Write out the following propositions in ordinary English. The first one is a conjunction, P and Q, the second one is a disjunction, not P or not Q. And the third one is an implication. Not P implies not Q. So in this first question, we simply need to combine these two statements using this connective and. And so P and Q is the statement, the principal goes to the ministry and the principal will meet the minister. If the principal is a male, then we can simply say the principal goes to the ministry and he will meet the minister. If the principal is a female, then we can simply say the principal goes to the ministry and she will meet the minister. In the second question, we have the negation of P or the negation of Q. That is, we know the negation of P is the statement the principal will not go to the ministry and the negation of cure is the statement, the principal will not meet the minister. So this statement reads, the principal will not go to the ministry or the principal will not meet the minister. The third question is an implication. That is, not P implies not cure. That is, the negation of P implies the negation of cure. And so this statement reads, if the principal does not go to the ministry, then the principal will not be the minister. Thanks for supporting my channel. In my next presentation, I will be solving question 5, which is on vectors.